through Landon Culligan. Ben McCaskill now has a lot of open ice in front of him. Makes a bad pass. Biscacek stepped in front of it. And now Pridham will just touch that off for McMillan. Here he comes. Logan McMillan to the front of the goal. He gets it back almost. And they score. A puck sitting on the goal line. It ended up in behind Waugh. Mooseheads get a good bounce. It's 1 nothing. McMillan takes it in over the line, throws it on the net. It goes off Lamontang's stick and in off of Waugh. So McMillan will get credit for that goal after a nice little pass out by Pridham. After Mayer intercepted the pass from Ben McCaskill. Tried to get in, however, for the corner. Andrew White now takes a good hit from Clendenning. And that will come away to. Had to, but a good shift by that unit for the Mooseheads. Kanotek looking very good that time around. Looks like he's showing no ill effects from that flu that's rolling around Nova Scotia, but good scoring chance. Controlling everything along the sideboards. Halifax have to use your speed like that. And Andrew White, there's not many quicker than he. Chance here. The Moose in the middle of a change. Chris Culligan right in. He shoots. He scores. What a beauty. Great head fake by Culligan. And his tremendous play in this series continues. The Eagles have tied it at one. Want the inside scoop on player movements, injury? Look who's over to his left, or to his right, sorry, but Dean Willett, and I think Yetman may have been thinking that. Culligan makes the move and goes upstairs. No chance for Yetman, who, and I would have thought, too, the pass was going over, but good smart play with Willett on the backhand. And this all took place just inside the red line after Culligan's able to pick the puck up. Turning with it. Baracek is there, and he left. They overskated. Here's a chance. Baracek, what a stop by Olivier Waugh. Pridham found Baracek. And how did Wall make that save? And here's a, just a turnover as it looked like Wallet was going to take it up the ice. Defenseman Mayer overskates it. What a save on the left head as Pridham throws it over to Baracek. He just tries the one timer. And it was just a, a great save by the young goaltender for the Eagles. Throws the left leg out. Baracek had a little bit more time than he realized. I think he can move it down low toward the front of the goal. That'll take a bounce off the boards, and Corsi is back for it. Baracek. Marshawn down to Hillier. He comes out the shot. He scores. Brian Hillier finds the range, and it's 2 1 Halifax. Nice work along the top of the area by Baracek. Back to Marchand, down to Hillier. He outweighs Waugh. Waugh's down, he goes up, gets the five hole to Ryan Hillier. Here's a great look at it. Great pass by Pierre Marchand. And it was not five hole, it was just inside the far post as Ryan Hillier with an outstanding goal makes it. Looks to a referee. And Olet will dish to Culligan as he tried to go back to Brodeur. Hillier turning quickly, he gives it up to Marchand. Here he comes, moves to the middle, to the backhand, and Waugh has the answer. And he's shaken up again. Probably are still hurting a little bit from the hit from Piskacek, but what an outstanding save by Olivier Waugh. Merritt Brad Marchand, after a turnover, takes the pass from Ryan Hillier. Makes a nice move on Bro Pokepet. Goes in, backhand, into the glove. And he is so hard to stop. You don't know what he's going to do forward, sideways. He might even go backwards, but he's so quick. He pulls off a lot of moves that a lot of guys won't even try, maybe in practice, but he has that kind of confidence. It doesn't always work. Had uh, from way out the shot. Stopped by Yetman. He was able to get down and see that. Here comes Marshawn as he blows it over the line, makes that move again, this time to the backhand, and it's just poke wide. Hillier scores on the rebound. Hillier comes in and picks up the rebound from Brad Marchand, makes a move on Prokopet, throws it on the net. Great save. And nobody picks up the trailer. Ryan Hillier, with his second of the game, puts it in and makes it 3-1. to one. You know, Paul, it's one year ago today that Hillier scored in overtime of Game 4 against Lewiston in the second round. That's the only game Lewiston lost last year. And 
Hillier has two goals tonight. Corsi and Marshawn picking up assists in a 14 mark of the first period. Culligan unassisted. And this low scoring affair. Brodeur around for Proca. Pets toward the front. And that puck bouncing in the slot. Nice behind the box. Speed, they score. And they've drawn it. The three to two. Let's throw it to the front. 3.07 to go. And it's three to two, Halifax. Prokopetz throws it on the net. It's tipped by Culligan. Nice little play by Slaney. Over to Ouellette. Doesn't get everything on it. May have gone off Culligan. May not have. May have gone off the loose defense. We'll wait and see. Here's a great look at it. Flutter shot. And it may not count if they deem that Chris Culligan kicked that one in. Yeah, the play is under review. A familiar refrain in this series. As he and it was knocked away by him by Prokopetz. Who says we'll move it in? Puck at the side of the goal. White trying to jam it. Here's a chance. What a stop by Olivier Waugh on PJ Carsey. This that kid is incredible. <laughs> what a save that was. He threw out the big glove. After a turnover, White throws it up to Corsi. And there's a shot. What a save. He came up with the glove and made probably if they come back the and series, score. Perhaps. Oh, if they come back and tie this up. Around the boards. Goose with a chance to get it out. They will. With 30 seconds to go, Colby put him into an empty net. And that is blown dead with 19 seconds to go. So Jordan Clendenning probably looking at his last shift. All three 20-year-olds are on the ice, as you would expect. A class move by Pascal Vincent to get his guys out there. That is one of the heart and soul players in the league, Dean Olet. Bo Prokopetz, uh, just a force behind the blue line all season long. And Jordan Clendenning, the October acquisition. Look at Pilat and Culligan having a word back at the blue line as they announce Pridham's goal. And, you know, to have somebody like Colby Pridham score that goal, we've talked about him numerous times all year, about how smart he is. He suffered through. And starting the year, I don't think anybody would have thought that we would come through in the playoff series between Halifax and Cape Breton. And, well, we did. And it was in only in five games. What an outstanding run Cape Breton had this year. Coach of the year, rookie of the year, scholastic player of the year. You know, success in every sense of the word for Cape Breton. And yeah. they'll be back. They have a young team. And, and look, you said it only five games, but what a five games it was. Just, uh, the just overtime. And, and yeah, the other ones, you know, two overtime games. But tonight, again, if, if you came to this, if you watched this live, you got your money's worth for this series. Absolutely, you did. And, you know, give Halifax a lot of credit. A lot of people didn't didn't know what to expect. Didn't know didn't know what to expect all year. They addressed a few. They they want to address. They want to address some problems. They did. They learned. They came out of their zone as a team. The team defense, the forwards come up. Team defense is number one with this team. They Everybody bought into it. Bradcheck tonight, four or five huge defensive plays. And that's what they had to do. If they didn't do that, you know, they were going to have a hard go in the playoffs. But they addressed those two problems, and they've won the first two rounds. And a big reason why right there, Mark Getman, they just cleared up all that. Uh, that puck that went in at the buzzer actually went in after the uh, time expired. It didn't matter anyway. So a 4-2 finish. What about Mark Getman, though? I mean, you look at the Mooseheads, and you think Bradcheck and... Uh, Hillier and, and Marshawn obviously but Mark Yetman uh, answered a, a big question I know there are only two rounds in but he has been tremendous through the first two series there's no doubt about that Dan of course he waited and bided his time he got out there and he did the job tail end of the regular season won the number one job and he's just been outstanding he's made a lot of huge saves he's very calm in that net real uh, celebratory atmosphere here at the Metro Center is the teams shake hands and you know there's a lot of it's it's a tight circle in junior hockey you've either played with a guy before in midget or maybe in junior you might have gone to a camp with him and this is a great rivalry but you know this wasn't a greasy series at any point I think there's a good healthy respect between the two sides and uh, they came together for as we said five games but it seemed like uh, seemed like a seven game series I know that 
2002 was great and